Hey, you probably guessed it, but in this video, I'm going to be doing another unboxing and review video. But this time, it's going to be on a brand new 21 inch racket that's on the market. It's from Goat Rackets and it's called the Rampage. And I'm going to show you why it's different to any other. Let's check it out. Welcome back. My name is Ashley Neves and I run the Tennis Mentor YouTube and Instagram accounts and I create content for tennis players, tennis parents and tennis coaches to get more out of the sport. Now the reason I'm reviewing a 21 inch racket today, for those that don't know me I'm an avid supporter of touch tennis. It's a very fast growing racket sport that you can play anywhere, you don't even need a tennis court. It's played on a compact sized court with 21 inch rackets and the official touch tennis ball. Now this tennis ball is really what makes the game. It's unlike any other, and it allows you to hit with heavy top spin, heavy slice, kick serves, the ball really reacts off the ground, and you can play in all weather conditions. Head over to the Touch Tennis YouTube channel or Instagram account to see some epic points played and to find more out about the sport. I fell in love with it a number of years ago and actually played on the world tour and made it to the world number six in singles and the world number four in doubles. I made great friends with the founder, Rashid, who has kindly sent me one of these brand new rackets. I'm actually the first on the planet to receive one of these in the post. He's come up with a new brand called Goat Rackets. Now, if you don't know Rashid, you should know that he is the greatest touch tennis player of all time. Hence his self-proclaimed title, The Goat. Apparently he's won 21 slams in the sport, but nobody has recollection of this, and we can't seem to find records anywhere. However, he is the greatest of all time. The sport was born in his back garden. He was playing over a mini tennis net in his garden with his daughters. He was getting really competitive. They were beating him too many times. It was getting super competitive when his daughter was age four or five or something like that. And they kept arguing over who was winning the most matches. So he started to keep track of his score and decided to put it on his very own website so that there could be no disputes. Eventually, his more of his friends got involved. The website got bigger and it started to branch out. Now the sport is played all over the world with thousands of competitors. And the great thing about it is you can set up a court anywhere. It could be in your back garden, it could be in a car park, and it's great fun. So enough about touch tennis. Let's talk about the racket that's been designed. Now Rashid has spent years and years playing the sport and has used endless amounts of rackets and he's tried and tested endless amounts of balls. He's managed to come up with an amazing ball that truly makes the sport. So if you're going to play touch tennis, make sure you use these balls. But alongside that, he's been testing loads and loads of rackets and decided that he wants to create a racket that's fit for the greatest player of all time. Hence the name, Goat Rackets. Before I get started, it's important to say that Rashid has kindly sent me this for the purpose of testing and reviewing. I haven't been paid to make this video, nor have I been asked to say anything in particular, so everything that I say will be my own unbiased opinions. And here it is. Rashid's a bit of a tech nerd, and he is a big fan of Apple products and the way that they package their products. So he's spent a lot of time, even up down to the packaging of this product. Let's take a look. There it is, the very first goat racket. So you can see already, there's a lot of time being spent on even the packaging of this product. Um, there you go, looks amazing, right? So I won't lie, I've actually unboxed this already because I've had a little hit with the racket because I wanted to test it out before speaking to you guys. And this actually came in a cellophane wrapper and the grip was wrapped as well. But I thought it looked even cooler in the packaging without it. So I thought I'd unbox it for you guys without the wrappers on it. But there we go, let's take the racket out. And there's even a logo behind the racket here. So that is the first look at the packaging and what the racket looks like. Put that down. There it is. So straight out of the packaging, the racket is ready to be used. Most 21 inch rackets come with this on the front just as a bit of marketing really, but this actually has a purpose. It's a stencil um, for you to put the logo onto your rackets. Now, it's such a cool logo, you could probably put this on your 
normal tennis racket if you've got one as well. So you just need some stencil ink and that will allow you to mark out the strings to show off this cool logo. So I'm gonna take this off now, I'm just gonna pop it off. There we go. So if you can see uh, the logo on the strings of the goat. It's a pretty mean looking goat, isn't it? So here's the racket. Now the very first thing, my first impressions of the racket, as soon as I picked it up and unwrapped it, was how amazing the grip was. Now, after speaking to Rashid, he wanted this racket to be unbelievable as soon as you opened it. Most rackets, when you buy them, they have a factory grip, which you normally need to put an overgrip on top of to make it feel more comfortable. They normally have strings that are really loosely tensioned in the factory. These strings, you can hear, have a pretty good tension already. Now, you might think, why do you need a decent set of strings at a high tension in a 21 inch racket. But remember, this racket was built for the greatest player of all time. So he's gone the extra mile in making sure that you get the best quality out of it. The grip feels ridiculous. If I show you here a close up of the grip, it's actually got the logo almost embossed onto it. But it just feels so much tackier than any other grip that you would get on a racket and the quality is amazing. You can see the detailing on the racket here with the GOAT logo on the neck. It's got that on both sides. The detailing is pretty cool all the way around. It's got this matte gunmetal finish and the quality of the build is ridiculous, especially for a 21 inch racket. Um, and if you look closely, the detailing inside the neck of the racket, you've got the Touch Tennis Certified logo, and you've got some of the specs. So we've got a head size of 85 square inches, which from playing with it earlier is spot on. Anything smaller can make the sweet spot too small and quite difficult to hit in the center. Anything too big can limit its maneuverability. So the head size is great, and that's for Touch Tennis players or for junior tennis players as well. The length is 21 inches and it's exactly that, so it's fit for the Touch Tennis Tour. It has a string pattern of 16 by 18 and it says to string at 40 pounds. Most 21 inch rackets don't come with recommendations, but I know for a fact that Rashid has strung his Touch Tennis rackets at lots of different tensions with lots of different string types and he's found that this is the nicest. So again, he's built it for the greatest Touch Tennis player of all time. Um, and it's gonna have that quality. Bearing in mind that this is a touch tennis racket, I'm not just going to use it for my touch tennis play and matches. I'm actually gonna use it for coaching as well. Throughout my tennis career, I've always had a 21 inch racket in my bag for various reasons. One of the reasons is for when I'm coaching younger children. I think it's important as a coach to use a racket that is familiar to the kids and the kids that are using this size racket. If I'm coaching them with a massive 27 inch racket, they're not gonna feel that connection. So I think it's important to have a 21 inch racket in your bag. And when the kids see you with this one, they're gonna think you're a pretty cool coach. Going back to the grip, outside of its quality, you'll actually notice that it's longer than most grips that 21 inch rackets have. It's actually 15 centimeters long, which allows adult players with big hands to hold the racket comfortably. But equally, if you're like me and you've got a double-handed backhand, it allows you to put two hands on the grip, like so. With most 21 inch rackets, with the length of the grip being shorter, you're forced into holding the neck of the racket with your non-dominant hand. But here, you can get most of your non-dominant hand on the grip, which allows you to play your double-handed backhand. And it felt great when I tried it earlier. Going back to the detailing, one of the coolest details on it is Rashid's tagline or slogan, and it is stay humble. Quite ironic really, but a great thing to live by for anybody. So there's the first looks at the racket. Let me know in the comments below what you think of it. In my opinion, it's one of the coolest looking 21 inch rackets. If you've ever read the book Shoe Dog, the Phil Knight memoirs of how Nike was created. If you haven't read the book, by the way, you should definitely do it, it's unbelievable. I read it a couple of weeks ago, one of the best books I've ever read. But yeah, Rashid's like Bauman in the way that he has to keep improving equipment. So whether it's the ball, whether it's the racket, he's never satisfied until he's got something right. And 
the fact that he's actually launched this and it's going out to the market very, very soon, you know it's going to be a great product. Straight out of the box, it feels like a £50 racket. And at the time of filming this right now, I believe it's £29.99. So you're getting such amazing quality for nearly half the price. So I said at the start, I actually had a play with this yesterday and it feels great. Even before hitting a ball, when swinging around, you can feel how maneuverable it is so quick through the air and just the fact that I can put two hands on the grip makes it much more comfortable for me with my double-handed backhand. Watching this you're probably thinking well it's a 21 inch racket how different can it be to any others and in all fairness I could play touch tennis with most 21 inch rackets but the reason I would get this one is firstly because of how it looks I love its design I love the detailing but more importantly for the same price as any other 21 inch racket, I know the amount of hours that have gone in to making this. And for a small business to be able to put a racket out at a very similar price to any on the market with this quality is quite incredible. So if you're an adult that wants to get started with touch tennis, this would be awesome. If you're a parent with a child who wants to get into tennis, again, I think they'd be pretty happy with how cool this racket is. If you're a teenager that wants to do a bit more tennis when you're at home or out in the park, you just want to set up a court, then it's great for that too. And for me as a coach, I'm gonna use it with my mini tennis players as well. I'll pop the link to this in the description below, along with the link to the Touch Tennis website so that you can check out what the sport's all about. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, comment below if you've got any questions about the racket and let me know what you think about it. To see more reviews or more of my coaching tutorials, consider subscribing to the channel and I hope to see you next time. Take care.